Today our lesson is finding halves and quarters of a number of objects. Hello students, welcome back to Friend for Learning channel. Children, I would highly recommend you first go to this link and understand the basics of halves and quarters before you start this new lesson. Before we go into this lesson, I want you to familiarize with our earlier lesson that when any object is divided into two equal paths, we call it as half and it is written as half that is 1 by 2. And when we divide any object into four equal paths, then we call this as quarter 1 by 4. Let's review your book for conceptual understanding. There are four cubes in a box. I'm going to divide these cubes in four corners like this. One, two, three, four. Now pay attention. One out of four cubes is taken out. One fourth. That is one out of the four cubes is taken up. We can write this as one out of four, which means one cube out of the four cube, four represents the total cubes, total four cubes, and one represent the number of cube taken out that is one cube which is taken out of the four and we write this as one out of four now let's work on this sum there are six apples half of the apples are green how many apples are green so there are two groups this is one group and this is another group also make a note in each group we have three apples three red and three green so now if we have to find how many apples are green then we are going to write this as half of six out of these two groups one group is green make a note one out of two groups are green which means half of six and how we write half we write half as one by two so what is one by two of six apples that is half of six apples is three well done so half of six apples is three therefore half of six apples is three that is we have three green apples yeah now let's look at another example Ren has 12 pencils. He gives away one fourth of his pencils. How many pencils does he give away? So there are 12 pencils and let's divide it into four groups since here it is mentioned one fourth. That is he gave one group out of his four groups of pencils this is first group second group third group and fourth group also make a note in each group we have three pencils three in the first three in the second three in the third and three in the fourth now pay attention to this one out of the four groups of pencils is given away so pay attention to this if i am going to take one group out of the four groups it means one fourth of 12 that is quarter of 12 so from these four groups with three pencils in each group I take one group of pencils out so he gave away three pencils now look at the fourth example there are ten marbles half of the marbles are green how many marbles are green 
so there are 10 marbles yeah I have divided them into half and there are five in each group and this set is green five marbles in one half and five marbles in another half this is blue color so when it is half of the marbles are green it means half of 10 and what is half of 10 half of 10 is five well done so there are five marbles green that is half of 10 is 5. Now let's have a look at another example. There are 20 hats. Three fourths of these 20 hats have ribbon. So now I want you to find out how many hats have ribbons. In this case, let's first divide these into four groups as it says three fourths. So this is one group, this is second group, this is third group, and this is fourth group. Also make a note, in each group you have five hats. Now the sum says three fourth of the hats have ribbons. Now let's take off those three fourth groups. This is one fourth of a group. So this group have ribbons this is another one fourth of the whole group and this group have ribbon and this is another one fourth of the whole group and this group also have ribbons so now let's add all the groups which have ribbons first what is quarter and quarter that is quarter plus quarter is what pay attention to this quarter plus quarter is half so quarter plus quarter is half and now i'm going to add this half to this quarter so half plus quarter is three by four so three by four of the hats have ribbons i repeat again three by four of the hats have ribbons and the quarter of the hats don't have ribbons and three by four plus quarter makes a whole hope you understood this concept very clearly now i want you to test your knowledge there are 40 marks dash out of the 40 marks have covers my next question there are 36 balls dash out of the 36 balls are in a bag and my third question for you there are 14 kangaroos dash out of the 14 kangaroos are eating so pay attention to the first question okay there are 40 marks and dash out of the 40 marks have covers that is quarter the first group and the second group is quarter so quarter and quarter may half so half of the whole group has covers yeah and the rest half don't have covers so you can write this as this way two of the four groups have covers or you can say half of the groups have covers and check out the answer for this sum nine out of 36 balls are in a bag or you can write this as quarter of 36 is nine that is 36 is divided into four groups each group is one quarter and one quarter of 36 is nine and let's have a look at this sum answer there are 14 kangaroos dash out of 14 kangaroos are eating so there are two groups of kangaroos and you can see one group is eating and another group is not eating and each group 
has seven kangaroos. So seven out of 14 kangaroos are eating. And what is seven in other words is half of 14, yeah? So you can write this as half of 14 is seven. Wow, it's really great to know that all your answers are matching with mine. That's amazing. And thanks for being with me. Stay safe. Have a good day. Bye.